Hello, you beautiful people. Today we're going to talk about failure or setback. I heard a great statement one time. It said, take every setback and make it a setup for a comeback. I like that a lot. I use that a lot. Whether you call it failure or setback, it's going to happen. Absolutely, if you're moving forward, if you're in hot pursuit of a goal, you are going to have a setback or a failure. So, since we know it's going to happen, let's plan for it. Let's see what we can do to plan for it. Now, you can feel sorry for yourself, and that's absolutely a, an option you have, and I do that sometimes. But give yourself permission to stop feeling sorry for yourself when you're ready. Say, okay, I'm going to feel sorry for myself for an hour. I'm going to feel sorry for myself for a day. I'm going to feel sorry for myself for a month. Whatever it is you're going to do, that's fine. And then have a plan to recover. What are you going to do with this setback? What are you going to do with this failure? Are you going to, are you going to let it bog you down? Are you going to turn it in and spin it into something that's positive for you? How did you learn from it? What can you do different? How can you make this a positive? These are the things you need to ask yourself. And if you know it's coming, then it doesn't hit you so hard. You know, if I told you tonight at two in the morning someone's coming in your house to hurt your family and to take your possessions, you'd be planning for it. You would have a, a plan of action to stop that from happening. Same thing with failure and setback. It's coming. It's coming. Plan ahead. Get ready for it so that you can keep moving and staying in hot pursuit of your goal. I love you and I care about you.